Hello Devils fans, it is a game day here in snowy downtown Binghamton, New York inside the Floyd L. Mains Veterans Memorial Arena. The Devils have wrapped up morning skate and now the Laval Rocket who came into town yesterday are on the ice preparing for tonight's 7.05 p.m. Face off. The Devils have been doing pretty good lately as they're coming off a three point weekend, points in three straight, and an overtime win against one of the best in the Eastern Conference, the Rochester Americans, on Saturday. Yeah, you know, now it's about consistency in, in how we've been able to have the effort and compete and play as a group the right way. And we, we've managed to get some results, but we're more focused on the process right now. and. Um, that's going to be the test for us. Uh, obviously, we've been inconsistent in our, our efforts and certainly at home here uh, uh, and, and maintaining it for 60 minutes. So that, that's going to be the challenge here tonight. But certainly, um, we're trending in the right direction uh, and going to have some lineup changes here again tonight. But, uh, uh, you know, expect uh, we want to expect more of the same. Steven Santini and Jimmy Hayes have both made good first impressions for Binghamton. How have they felt? Good. Good. You know, it's been, you know, I haven't played many games, so just get back into that game, get your timing back. That's the biggest thing as uh, playing, playing in the NHL is the timing and execution, so it's nice to get back in and have some games to do it. Yeah, I don't know if I can really pinpoint one particular thing. I guess just, uh, you know, I'm a younger guy. i got to continue to round out my game every day and, um, you know, maintain good habits and, uh, you know, be a good teammate and just help this team win because at the end of the day that's what's uh, most important is helping this organization win it no matter what level I'm playing at. Goaltender Ken Appleby back in town here in Binghamton. He was thrown into his first NHL game. Um, you know, when I, uh, I don't know, it, it was really nerve-wracking at first, um, but I, I really didn't have much time to think about it. I just, before I knew it, I was in the game and uh, I had uh, Wayne Simmons coming down and they had three consecutive shots just like that, so um, you know, I felt I felt good once things did get going, but obviously a little nerve-wracking at first. Appleby then would make his first NHL start. Being thrown in the game, you don't really have time to think about it. And then, uh, you know, the for, for getting your first start, kind of have the the moments, the you know, hours leading up to the game where you're just trying to trying to focus on what you need to do to have a good game. You can kind of think about the game a little bit more. Um, so that's all I really tried to do is leading up to the game, just try to focus on what I had to do and uh, you know, just, just try to uh, give the team a chance to win. Well, just when you thought the Devils were getting healthy, injuries starting to stack up once again. Most notably, Kevin Rooney, if fans remember, he was hurt in Saturday's game and did not return. Uh, Blake Pietula is going to be out tonight, uh, hopefully just for this evening, uh, upper body, a little sore. Uh, Kevin Rooney uh, will not be back. That's obviously a big loss, big hole. He's played really well for us. Um, uh, Jake Wallman uh, will not be available tonight. A uh, little mishap in practice. Mackenzie Blackwood's out with the flu. So <laughs> we continue to have uh, uh, some injuries and, and sickness continue to hit us here. But um, like I said, it, we're winning games not because of individuals. We're winning them uh, as a team. So some guys will come in and and uh, get opportunities. We'll get Brian Strait back, who uh, just had a baby girl, and uh, he's excited to get uh, back on the ice and get out of the house here. So uh, he, hopefully he'll give us a little bit of life. And then obviously um, uh, Jimmy Hayes is, is still here for another game. So uh, opportunities for some guys to get the extended roles, but like I said, we need to win and play as a team in order to have success. If you can make it out of your house and down to the arena, the puck drops at 7.05 p.m. The Devils and Rocket, if you can't make it out, Fire up the old radio. We'll have the pregame show beginning at 6.45 with the M&T Bank countdown to face off. For another edition of Devils Game Day from the Floyd L. Mains Veterans Memorial Arena in Binghamton on Devils Vision, I'm Rob Lapolis.